Camilla here from Decodable Readers Australia. Welcome to part three of our little mini series, The Benefits of an Online Library. Today we're going to take you through the Teacher Portal. It's an amazing platform that really makes this online library the online library with a difference. I'm going to show you through the features and extra resources to support teachers in their systematic synthetic phonics approach. So let's dive straight in. I'm super excited to take you through the teacher portal. I've logged in as a teacher and as you can see, we've got a side panel here. If we click on class management, this is where we add and bulk add our students. We can change student passwords all to be the same to make it super simple uh, when logging in. When we click on students, this is where all of our students will sit and we can individually monitor or we can go across here to our book allocation. This is where our whole class is sitting and we can actually see Andy Timms, he's read all of level one books and the date completed. So this really allows teachers to monitor their class. We can lock and unlock books here as well as the whole class ones. This tab here can generate their ID cards just like this with QR coding, helps students go straight to the URL rather than typing in individually those URLs and then they can type in their username and password. So a great feature, it auto generates so you guys don't have to make an ID card. All right, the best part of all is our library and very shortly we're going to take you through all of the features that a teacher can do using this interactive library. Before we do that, let's have a look at a couple of other features. We've got our assessments here. Now you do have to purchase the Sparkle Kit, but you can download the recording sheets there. So no more over photocopying and trying to store them somewhere. They can just be easily downloaded. And we've got our Excel spreadsheets that collect the data for summative purposes as well as diagnostic. So you can download those Excel spreadsheets. And there is going to be a little video just about data collection as well. All right, let's have a quick look at what else. We've got all of our SOR squad videos. These are little learning videos with our Sounds of Reading squad. And there are five videos per level. This tab here is our professional development. Lots of little professional learning videos that will help you on your science of reading journey and you can watch those. They're just short little videos, no longer than 10 minutes, that will really help you on your journey to understand the science of reading. This tab here is our resources page. Now this page will continually grow. We will value add all of our downloadable resources to support teachers. We've got things from reading logs and certificates, posters to use in the classroom, as well as posters to support the learning journey in regards to the science of reading. We've also value added with our DRA games 20 downloadable games per level to support students in their cumulative practice at word level, learning their letter sound correspondences. But let's jump into our library where our pots of gold really sit. I'm going to take you through all the different uses of the online library. Inside the teacher library, we have features that will really assist teachers in their daily review. Currently, if we go into one of the levels, let's go into level two, there are these buttons here. Firstly, it's hear the sounds. This is the daily review of letter sound correspondences. Students can come up and click on the letter to hear the letter or the teacher can just quickly go through them all. Mm. On the little scroll. Duh. Clicking it, turning it blue and hearing the sound. Good. You'll notice there's very minimal features on the screen. This is to reduce cognitive load. We really want the focus to be on the letter and as we scroll over it, it's really highlighting that that's the sound represented by that letter. Oh. Now if we go back, we also have daily review of sight words. These are the sight words that are found in each level. So as you go into each level, you will have different sight words. So these are the sight words of level two. I, t, oo, two. 
and you'll notice that the sight words are broken down into the individual sounds first. They are sounded out. D, U, D. So these two buttons here, hear the sounds and sight words to learn are features for daily review. The online library is a digital platform, which means that you can click on any book and it can be projected on an interactive whiteboard, smartboard or projector. Now the book opens up to fill the screen, which allows all the students to be able to see it. You can use this for modelled reading or shared reading and use the interactive features like the sounding out when you click a word. R -s runs or the read to me feature. But if you're using this as a teacher, you would read to the students rather than the read to me feature. But students can use this during independent practice. Now, if it is up on the whiteboard or smart board, you'll be able to either zoom in if you just wanted to do sentence work or zoom out if you're using the book work. But let me share with you some extra activities and ideas that you can use the interactive library for. So let's see how we can use our online library as sound investigators. We're going to go into level four this time and choose one of the books in level four. Let's go Fresh is Best. I like to tell the students that we're going on a word hunt and they have to investigate words that have the sh sound for this book. So we're looking at the diagraph S and H. We can even use the title and spot a word because we can't go over it, we can't go under it, we have to go through it. So we have to go through the text to be sound investigators. Once they have spot a word that has the focus sound of sh, they get to write it down on their word investigator list. And this could be as simple as a piece of paper on a clipboard. All right, as we maneuver through the book and swap the pages, we can either blow up the page nice and big so that we are just looking at one page at a time and just the text. And when students spot the word, we can click on it to hear the word being sounded out to hear if we can spot the sh sound. So let's hear. Sh oh. Shops. It has the sh sound so we can write it on the list. Can we find any other words that have the sh sound in this sentence? And we have those students contributing, putting up their hand and spotting the words, finding the words, coming up to the front and pressing the words to hear them. Fresh. Fresh. Fish. Fish. So you can really blow up that text and be word investigators and go on your word hunt. The online library is a great tool for dictation. We're going to jump into level two and see how we can use it. Now we would have to make sure that we've taught our level two letters and sounds. Then we can choose one of our books. I'm going to choose Eric's Socks. We'll turn over to one of the pages. I'm going to use this first page here. We could read it all together. Eric runs on the track in his socks. Then we would blow it up to just show the visual, to visually represent the sentence that we're about to dictate and create. Now students can use mini whiteboards or a notepad and they are going to even correct it themselves. Now as a teacher, I would repeat the sentence and have the students repeat the sentence. Eric runs on the track in his socks. And I would have the students record. Now, if a student gets stuck or can't remember the next word, you can absolutely help them by repeating the sentence. Eric runs on the track in his socks. And then once all the students have recorded their sentence, we can move it up and do a correction. We can even blow it up to the full size of the screen and use the screen. We can sound out the words by clicking on the words once they turn blue. So if I click on the word track, 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 and we can absolutely see the sounds and the letter sound correspondences and students can either correct or self-correct what they've written.
The online library supports the teaching of vocabulary. We've done the hard work for you and as you can see, we've got the word chosen for each book in the inside back cover. We've even given a student-friendly definition that you can read out to students. And once again, if the book is projected up nice and clear, you can use the context of the story and the pictures to assist in teaching this vocabulary. So for example, this word is display. When you display something, you put it in a place where it can be seen easily by lots of people. And you can go across here on your smart boards and show how Nan displays the pics from the trip. So as you can see, this is an amazing resource already, but it will continue to grow. We have many projects in the pipelines and we will develop this platform so it is your one-stop shop for all of your resources. Make sure you stay connected, jump onto our website to see all of the updates.